Hi guys! So I thought I'd do my very 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 late October favorites and I really hope that the lighting is okay. It's dark out and I see the light reflects in my glasses but right now I don't care. I want to get it done. I have a lot of favorites this month. So yeah, let's get started shall we? Uh, the first one we could take nail polish. And I actually have quite a few. First of all, I have a new top coat that I've been using instead of my Sesh Vite. And this is the China Glaze Fast Forward Top Coat. Looks like this. And I really, really like it. Almost better than the Sesh Vite, I, I'm afraid to say. Because the Sesh Vite, after a few days, it starts to like peel off the nails. And it's very, very thick in the consistency. This isn't. This is so good, but I don't know if you can see it. I used up quite a lot. I think about there. So yeah, but I really, really like this one. And it's also cheaper than the Sesh Vite. So right now, this is my favorite top coat. And then I have a few more. Having that it's been Halloween, I have of course some black and orange and for Halloween I didn't do anything special just wanted to feel a little, a little bit like Halloween I used my Viva La Diva nail polish in the color I think it's 52 it's just a basic orange nail polish don't know if you can see that it is orange but it is a bright bright orange and over that I used my OPI nail shatter in black so these two together very Halloweeny, and then I have a few other. I actually have a lot of nail polish. Oh my god, I have three, six, eight, I think. Oh my, um, I've been really into the dark kind of dark colors this month, so I've also been. This is a one I've showed you before, but my Soya nail polish in key, like a duochrome nail polish, it's so gorgeous. I'm afraid this light don't show off the colors that good, but yeah, as I said, it's all I could do. So this is the Soya Nail Polish in Key. And then I have my Essie Nail Polish in Wrapped in Rubies. This is such a gorgeous shade. It's like almost a, a rusty, burnt copper kind of color. It's a dark red with like gold and yeah, it's hard to explain, but it's so gorgeous. And I love this. Then I have... Uh, I tried a few new nail polishes and I found one that I actually like. That maybe not is not the type of dark colors that I just talked about. But it's the Mio Na Mini Drops in... I think this just is... Uh, Perfume Drops in Green. This is a scented nail polish. It's like a very like forest green. Like, yeah. Almost a Christmas green, actually, and it's supposedly supposed to smell like papayas, but I don't actually agree that it smells like papayas. But it is a good, it's a cute color. It has a lot of sparkles in it, shimmer in it. I like it. Uh, maybe it's more of a Christmas color, as I said. Maybe if you have it with like an accent, you have this and like a red or something. Yeah, should be really, really Christmassy. And then I have two more like autumn in colors. I don't know why I took that first. I just take it as I find it. And this is my OPI The Show Must Go On. I actually got this in my limited edition glossy box, the Metro glossy box. It's a bit more expensive but it's so gorgeous. I think this was part of the burlesque collection I think. Um, comment below if you know if I'm said the wrong, wrong collection or something, but I think it's the burlesque one and it's a gorgeous pink reddish with like gold glitter in it. It's so gorgeous on the nail. I love this and this is a full bottle so I'm so happy. And then my last one is also an oldie but goodie. It's my Dolce Gabbana nail polish in Stromboli. And this is a black base with gold and olive shimmer in it. Or glitter, not shimmer, glitter. It's chunks of glitter, but I love it. 
And this is a big bottle of nail polish. I love this. Next, should we take face, perhaps? Yeah, we take face. We take face here. And then I have my Yves Saint Laurent Tout Chocolat. This is in the color 2. And this was also part of my limited edition glossy box. And this is full size and I love it. I use it to conceal like under eyes. I know it's a, supposed to be a, a radiant, but I use it as a concealer and I love it. It's so smooth and everything. So I'm sad that it's kind of expensive that I, when it runs out, I have to buy a new one because I love it so much. Maybe I'll try some of the dupes, but this is so good. Yves Saint Laurent. As I said, also a full size product from my limited edition glossy box. I love it. And then I have my Physician's Formula Happy Booster in Bronze Rose. I showed this in my Canada haul. There it is. It's like the bronzer here and the hearts are the blush side. And it is so gorgeous. I'm not going to do swatches here because the light is sucks actually. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. It's not that pigmented, but I'm very fair skinned, so I don't need a lot of pigmentation. And it comes with a mirror here and the brush that I actually haven't even opened. And this is part of the things that my sister got me from my when she was in Canada. I'll link the the whole video as well. So that is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster. And then I have started using a new foundation this month, or last month. And this, that is the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup SPF 15. And I'm in the color Porcelain. And I bought a starter set. So this is just a mini foundation. And I really like it. It's a pressed powder. And it came with this brush that I actually don't like because it's very, very scratchy. Yeah, it's very scratchy on the skin. So I don't like that. I use another one uh, now. And this is the powder. It's so good. I don't need a lot of coverage. So this mineral foundations works wonders for me. So yeah, I really been loving that. And then let's see here. Eyes, I think, before we go into lips because I have a ton of lip products. Uh, anyway, I have three of the Maybelline Color 24 Hour Tattoos by Eye Studio. I have my On and On Bronze. It's called something else in the US, I know, but here in, in Europe it's called On and On Bronze. And it's a bronzy color. Looks like this, I think, yeah. So it's very good. On me they do crease, however, I'm, I need to find a new primer. Do any of you have any suggestions on a primer for someone with really, really oily skin? I've been using my NYX HD uh, eyeshadow base, but it started to crease on me too. So anyone know any? Please comment below and let me know because I really need a new primer. However, sidetracked. <laughs> uh, that is on the non bronze. And then I have, I think this is a color that you don't have in the US. Comment down below and see if, if you have. You just comment all over the place today. And this is the color tattoo 24 hour in pink gold. So this is really nice actually. I think I might swatch this one because maybe a lot of you haven't seen it. And this is how it looks like. It's a very beautiful uh, golden rose gold color. See if you can see that. I don't, don't know if you can see it. Well, it's a beautiful rose gold color anyway. Very smooth as well, so I love that one. And then I have the pomegranate punk that uh, my sister got me from Canada. And I'll do a comparison to these because now I have three of the European ones and one of the one of the the American ones, so you can compare them because they don't look the same. Package-wise, they don't look the same. 
American, European, and the sizes are different, so I'll do a comparison video on them, now that I have a few. And then, along with these, mostly the, the European ones, I have been using my MUA Undress palette very much, because I have the taupe one as well. And I have the, the bronze and the rose gold one. And there are some shades in this palette that works wonders. So for example, I'm just going to open it. And let's see, this color here would, do, would be great with the rose gold one. Pink gold. Ro yeah, the rose gold colored one. And then we have like the taupe, the bronzy, the gold. It's just very good palette to you want to build up the color with these shadows so this one I really like with these and then I have two eye things left and that they are my elf cream eyeshadow in smoke looks like this packaging very really big and bulky and it's a very deep dark gunmetal color that actually creases less than the Maybelline ones, believe it or not. However, I love I love them as well, but and this one, so yeah, it was in smoke. I have done my own little sign because the elf signs are like teeny, you can't see it. And then my last one is my MUA Makeup Academy waterproof eyeliner. This I have a love hate relationship with because it looks when when it's on the eye, it looks so good. But applying it is such a pain. I'm just trying to open it. Because the wand... I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's like a tiny little plasticky wand. So it's actually kind of sticky. But the, the color payoff is great. With the waterproof eye makeup remover, it removes very easily. Not too easy. But the application is not good. Oh, the one, the applicator, there it is, isn't good at all. So, love-hate relationship with it. And then, yeah, we take the two miscellaneous things before we go into eyes. I have been using the, the Goldwell Power Whip Style Sign. Um, this is a volume mousse. Also part of my limited edition glossy box. This is a try. I have a hairspray that I haven't been using that much yet, so I don't have a say on it yet. This one, the it smells great, very fresh, uh, and it applicates good, but it makes my hair so static. I don't know what it is, but it makes my hair really, really static. So it's like flying all over the place, and I hate that in hair products. I hate that about my hair in general. Especially now when it's uh, more dry out and very cold, the hair gets gets static. I hate it, and this just made it worse. So I don't. I like it, but I hate that about it. So yeah, uh, yeah. And then for I have one perfume this week, and that that is my uh, Lancome Tresor Midnight Rose. I've shown this before. I had haven't used it all summer because I feel it's more of a dark or like uh, autumn-y wintry scent and when I took it out I remember I realized remembered why I love it so much it's such I I'm I'm good at describing wines I, I love describing wines but I suck at describing describing perfumes but it's it's really good so if you have like a somewhere you can smell it go smell it I love it and then we come to the big, big part of this month. All my lip products. Let's see where we start. We can start with lipsticks, I think. I have two. I have my Revlon lip butter in red velvet. Love this. Also part of the, the things my sister got me. And I love it. It's a perfect... It's not as opaque as my... I have another Raspberry Pi that I've shown in another video way back. 
Uh, this is not as opaque, but it's so good when you just want a light, vampy colored lip. So I love it. And then I have me and my Dolce Gabbana makeup. Uh, Dolce Gabbana, and this is the Shine lipstick in Ruby. It's a raspberry red dish pink color. And it's uh, like a shine, so it's not as opaque, it's more shiny lipstick, like see there. So it's really shiny, moisturizing. I love it. Quite expensive, but hey, I'm a lipstick and I'm a lip addict. You can say it like that. And then we can take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in Addis Ababa. Looks like this, and it comes with an applicator, just a doe foot applicator. See if I can make a swatch here. So this is a matte lip color. There it is. It's a vibrant pink color, and uh, it smells. It has smell. Yeah, very very sweet, like vanilla f smell to it. It's good on the lips, it stays on for quite a while, actually, my bangs are killing me right now. Uh, it stays on for quite a while, and yeah, it's, it's good, I like it. And then we have, I have my Lumene, this is the Lingon Berry Lasting Lip Stain and Balm. It's like the Revlon uh, one that I showed you last month, but this is the Scandinavian type, it's the Lumene. Looks like this. And this is in the color 11 Secret. Let's see if I can do a swatch here. It's the swatch. Where'd you go? There is the swatch. Let's see if you can. Yeah, there is it. Stays on for a hell of a long time. And you have the lip balm on the other side. So if you need to moisturize your your lips because these stains kind of dry them out, dry the lips out, but the balm is very good. Then I have three lip crayons, two Revlon and one Clinique. The Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm is in Mega Melon and it looks like this. I'll try to do a swatch there. So it's a very, very on me nudie color. And compared to my Revlon ones, these actually, this one smells like a crayon, so I'm not sure I like that. But yeah, it works if I have like a day at work and I have a very, very intense eye makeup and just want a more nudie or as much as I can go nudie lip, this works good. Otherwise, I'm gonna use my Revlon Just, Le Just Bit and Kissable. Balm stains, and I got two of them from my darling sister. I got Crush and Romantic, and I think I showed you swatches in my haul. But what I don't like is the the writing is almost gone on this one compared to. See if you can see the difference. Compared to this one, this this writing is like gone. But I really like them, and these ones smell very minty and they have a hell of a lasting power. So I think I'm gonna try to get my hands on, I have my eye and set on two other, two other um, colors. So I love these ones. And I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, review and comparison on these two as well. Now that I have both on them, so I can compare them. And I'm stuck on some clothes. <laughs> and then my last one, I have two more. The songs that I've been using, or uh, using, now I, the songs that I've been really like, like listening to in October is a soundtrack that I always start listening to in, in the fall around Halloween and it's the Queen of the Damned soundtrack. I love it and if you haven't seen the movie, if you don't like vampire movies, it's okay but I think the soundtrack is just so amazing. I love it. I always listen to it this time of year. And then I have something that I forgot to show you in my last month's favorite. I totally spaced on it. Partly because I didn't have the book here. It's a book, as I said. And it's... Maybe no surprise on what it is. 
the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy trio and by E.L. James, this is the Swedish version and I have book two now as well in Swedish I've read them in Swedish and English because they were so lazy getting to Sweden and uh, so this is the first one in Sweden it's called Femte Nians of Honnom so translating that is Fifty Shades of Him not Fifty Shades of Grey, so yeah, it works I love these, mo these movies, what is it with me today? I love these books. I was like, I couldn't stop reading them. I stayed up, I don't know how long, just in the night reading them. Every spare moment I could get, I, I just read. So I think I read them in no time at all. So I'm waiting for the, th the third one in Swedish so I can read them in both Swedish and English. And we don't get the third one until January, so I have some time to wait for it. And yeah, if you haven't read it, I like it. I really like this romantic like love stories. So yeah, I really, really like this movie. <laughs> this movie. I can't talk today. This is a book, Jesse. Yeah. So those were my favorite. I had quite a lot of them this month actually. So yeah, I'd love to hear about what your favorites are and have you tried any of these products? Please let me know. And yeah, please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!